Howdy folks, how's it going? I'm just going to do a quick lesson for the song Bug by Fish. I'm going to start up here on the 12th fret with your first finger. It's going to be a G chord, but you're just going to play it like the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th strings. You're not going to play the high E, and you're not going to play the A and the low E. You're just going to play those three. And then you're going to start with your ring finger on the 3rd string on the 14th fret. It's going to be like a little series of pull-offs and if you know the song you'll be able to get it pretty easily. It's like... And again I'm strumming all three of those but I'm only fretting that one third string on the 14th fret. And I'm not strumming every one of those two. You'll see that it's kind of like... down two frets to the F and do the same thing. Just those three strings. And now I'm going to play pretty much a full C chord here on the 8th fret. Then back to that G. That's just kind of some pull-offs between the 3rd and 4th strings going from 14 to 12 and then 14 to 12. That's gonna sound like. I'm not sure if he plays all that while he's singing or not, or if he, he I think it just kind of goes to chords. Alright, then eventually you're going to get to a little part that goes like this. It's going to sound like... string, you're going to slide from 3 to 5, then you're going to play the G string open, the 3rd string, and that's going to just kind of ring open throughout this little passage here, and you're going to go 3 to 5 on the 4th string, the open G, then the 3, still the open G, then the 2, then open. I think it does it a few times. G and I usually just play it like and that lick is just the third string you're going to go from two to four and then back to two then the third string open then the fourth string at two that's when you're going to go right into your F chord. Right. And then it goes back into another. There's more verses of that. And then um, there's a little short and sweet solo in there that's uh, pretty easy. It's uh, the third string on the 14th fret, and it's going to be like a full band. Then it's gonna be like a pick and then release that bend. Then the third string at the twelfth fret, you're gonna sound, and then you're gonna go back to the fourteenth fret and bend it. Like a short little bend, and then you're gonna sound the third string at the fourteenth fret. So that's gonna sound like that's the first little part. Then with your pinky you're gonna add the second string on the 15th fret, that D note, then you're going to go back to the third string on the 14th fret, then the third string on the 12th fret, so that's what you got. string 12th 
with the 14, then the third string of 12, then a little, maybe a little hammer on it. Then it does another one of those. And it goes back into the chorus. doing something in the background over that G which is, sounds kind of like I'm just kind of buying a G with my first finger the first and second strings on the third fret and then these two I'm just kind of playing open and then not really trying to hit the low two and then I'm adding a note on the high E string the first string at the 5th fret and then a note at the 7th fret so it's like then off again and then it's going to end with it down but not go back up to 7 and it's going to do that for a while and then at the very end there's a little thing that sounds like he's doing something like slide up to the 8th fret for the G and then right before you leave it you're going to sound it one more time and then do a hammer on on the 2nd string from 5 to 6 and then a pull off from 7 to 5 on the 3rd string so it's right and then you're going to hammer that back on so that's kind of the first bit of it right there it goes Second string, then the third string, seven, five, and then five, seven. Then the second half of it is like, and that's just you're gonna slide down the third string. Your finger should already be there. Um, you're gonna go five to four. Then you're gonna go third string, second fret, and then a little bend, like a quarter bend on the third string at the fourth fret. And then you do that again. So you're gonna go to the third string, second fret, and then another little bend at the fourth fret. And then from there you just kinda of, kinda of do a little hammer on all the way until it's open. So, so it sounds like So all together it should sound like so you can see it easier. And it just ends on that G there. So that's pretty much the gist of the tune there. If you got any other questions, feel free to ask. And um, good luck with it. Hope you have fun. And have a good weekend.